in the martial art of Bagua, in the martial art of Bagua, classically there were three changes. Dan Huang Zhang, which means single palm change, Shuang Huang Zhang, which means double palm change, and Sun Zhang, which means soon palm changes. And you know what a smooth palm change meant? Something with a single and a double mixed in one way or another. Quote unquote, yang, yin, and combinations thereof. Whether it was eight palms or 64 or 312 or whatever it is, it's always this mixing. So before we start getting into how to do the movement of the double palm change, which incorporates the single palm change inside of it, as every Bagua palm change does, it's a very simple thing you have to, you have to just consider. You never leave the single palm change even when you do the double palm change because even if you're activating extremely yin energies in the body here, Isaac, some, anybody, just come here, look. Or here, just do something, attack me. Even if you're doing something, you said that was fairly yin, my hand's over here. But what you always have, even if it's yin, is that, go ahead, do it again. It's, 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 it's not like a Tai Chi thing. It's always that even this yin, I'm extending and moving out. So again, just watch for a second. You see how Lee just went right into me? My hand stood there, but it sucked him in. So my arm, its energies can go in any direction from any part of it. So anything that's a single palm change, what it has, what a single palm change methodology has, <coughs> forget about the 10,000 techniques that can go with it, is no matter where it goes, do something else, is that there's always this arm, there's always this energy going out. That's the yang side of it, yes? Where anything that's a double palm change, no matter what it is, it's always this something about, it's almost like it drops him inside this vat of water and then it makes it go screwy. Just here, just look here. Now that's a screwy, I, I, didn't, I didn't extend. Going back, whatever, and this is not the same, this is not exactly the same thing as they have in Tai Chi, but it's then again, it can provide the same services of a yin function. But don't think of light, think of water. Think of light, out it goes, right? Theoretically, if you shine a flashlight, it should go off to the next star system sooner or later. It may take a few weeks, but it'll get there. But water, anything that enters a field of water is just, somehow, it just envelops it. Okay, and I'm not talking about this, there isn't actually a specific water palm change, but it's a different matter. But here, so what you're having is that there's always the heaviness, all those sinking things you're used to, Isaac, that's, that's double palm change stuff. Whereas if I was to have that same idea with a single palm change, it would be, it would be like this. It would just be a straight out thing, or it would just be this. I'd just be cutting down. It's still down, but it's still out. Can you follow this? Yes or no? This is a big thing, because if you take these two principles, you have conservatively a few thousand techniques who are immensely useful. But if you don't get the big thing, you can do this technique and that technique, and the fact of the matter is that you're gonna have a really hard time use it in extremely spontaneous conditions. And you're gonna have a very difficult thing applying it in your life. Because there really only are two basic forces, if you wanna say male, female, yin and yang. There's the force that goes out, and there's the force that just lets it all in. And that's a simple way on this planet of looking at it. 